Amanda, it is five minutes after eight o'clock. A rule over which bathroom students in St. John's County schools can use is not a violation of a federal law. That is the decision from an appeals court following a five year legal battle. News for Jack's reporter Brianna Andrews going over the case. Brianna, a transgender student who wasn't allowed to use the boys bathroom at Nice High School actually filed this lawsuit. And the majority opinion of the court concludes that a person's gender identity has no bearing on this case about equal protection for a transgender boy. The court also says that the school board's policy did not violate Title IX, which is a federal law that prevents discrimination based on sex and education programs. In the majority opinion, Judge Barbara Lagoa wrote that the school board's policy advances the important governmental objective of protecting students' privacy in school bathrooms by allowing students to, quote, shield their bodies from the opposite sex in the bathroom, which, like a locker room or shower facility, is one of the spaces in a school where such bodily exposure is most likely to occur. Drew Adams was required to use a gender neutral single stall bathroom or girls bathroom while as a student at Nice High School. He says he was forced to endure a stigmatizing and humiliating walk of shame because of the rule. In 2017, Adams and his mother filed the lawsuit against the St. John's County School Board. A federal judge ruled in his favor in 2018 and an appeals court upheld the decision that Adams equal protection rights had been violated. And with an overturning of the decision, uh, this could be appealed in the U.S. Supreme Court. Reporting live, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.